The president's State of the Union address also called for fixing what he called the lawless state of our southern border. He asked for more troops, new drug detection technology, and of course, his border wall. But critics today say the government needs to fix its own handling of immigrants, particularly immigrant families, as Love Junius reports from our Washington Bureau. Last time Jefferson R.P. saw his father was in late 2017. That's when Immigration and Customs Enforcement officers arrested his dad for being in the country illegally. I got to the point where I'm tired of just being without him. My dad is not a criminal. He is here to give me a better future. If he goes, my future goes. Arpi was speaking at a rally outside the Capitol, where dozens protested everything from ICE to the new policy that asylum seekers can be sent back to Mexico while they wait for a hearing. Perez Bastillo calls that a very dangerous development. It means essentially there's a kind of collusion, complicity between the U.S. government and the Mexican government that threatens to deny the right to seek asylum, which is one of the most fundamental rights in international law and in international human rights. Much of the anger at the rally was directed at the policy of separating families at the border. Under a court settlement, however, young children have to be reunited with their parents after several weeks. President Donald Trump calls that loophole in immigration law. But Matthew Susses of the Center of Immigration Studies says the government doesn't have many options. So release the entire family into the interior of the country and hope they'll show up to court and all, and all they, they won't. Um, or you detain the, the, the parent who crossed illegally but release the child to a relative or a guardian in the country. The so-called Flores settlement does not apply to older children like Arpi, which is why he is working with lawmakers to bring his father home. And I'm so thankful for the support of representatives that we have in the government that is going to help all of us, all of our immigrants. In Washington, Love Junius, Cronkite News.